uh, first, I would like to thank you for eBay team from yesterday. It was really great. Uh, I'm Matthias, and uh, I'm the leader our, of uh, Kunena together with our small team. I'm mostly doing coding, and uh, I'm presenting this Kunena 2.0 platform. And uh, for something from my history, I was working for Linux kernel. I was a programming a programmer inside Linux kernel space for seven years uh, before I moved into PHP. That's a big leap. Uh, so space. Okay, what's Kunina? So you probably all know what's, what is Kunina. So you can read it from here. Uh, I started with Kunene about, uh, I think it was 200, uh, 2008, and I installed it into my forum, and in five minutes it crashed on load. And uh, I had to do something about it because I have a lot of uh, angry users, so I started to make some fixes to it. And that's uh, how I get involved in the this. Fireboard, right? Yeah, Fireboard. What's it, I say? Oh, sorry. Fireboard. Anyway, uh, we are releasing the new version to today. I hope, if we have connectivity. And uh, it has some new features, mostly that weighted Joomla 1.6 support and the migration to it. And of course, some bu bug fixes. Well, then we have this uh, new version, which I have uh, coded from, I think, August last year, and uh, we kind of rewrote and rethinked re everything from the beginning. So I finally wanted to have something I had dreamed for two years. And uh, we have many, many new things. Most of them are under the hood, which is actually we have rewritten almost everything. Well, uh, if you have installed Kunen 1.6, you know how easy it's to install and upgrade. And uh, we have even made that a slightly better. So actually, you can use your, uh, kind of use your own templates. If you have only ch made changes to CSS, it will work. If you have uh, altered the HTML, then it won't work because we are using uh, Joomla MVC. And uh, all data is automatically migrated, and uh, you are re re almost re ready to run your forum. Of course, uh, the changes have been so huge that it's not backwards compatible, and uh, you may have bad issues if you are using some custom customized uh, uh, templates and so on. You have to make them all uh, again. And of course, integrating extensions may have to be upgraded. I'm starting to work on them right now. Uh, well, this is very interesting. Uh, we had that uh, old data model from Fireboard, and uh, that really didn't scale up very well. Well, that has changed. We are already running. Uh, Kunena 2.0 in 2 million post forum. And uh, uh, the data model, it can give you 10 to 50 times faster queries if you have a very large database. Uh, we have made many code optimizations. Uh, we, we are using the same classes to only to load things once. So the performance has gone up. And we have very intelligent, intellig, uh, intellig, uh, I can say it, yeah, caching, which actually makes it up to five times faster right now. Uh, 
but uh, I, I have made some tests we can even go better so it takes a uh, very little time so here is uh, some performance testing which I made I think one month ago and uh, you can see the difference by your own eyes. It's, it's a bit different scale. That's with the same data, exactly the same database. One is just running 1.6 and one is 2.0. Uh, we have rewritten the code base. So uh, we have a now object oriented framework, which is actually, uh, what was the term? Uh, uh, domain driven design. Uh, so objects actually are a uh, form, you have one object, you have one object for message, threads, and so on. And it makes it very agile and very easy to modify and very easy to use. Uh, then, on top of our framework, we are having this Joomla MVC, uh, both in front-end and in back-end. We have new templating system, uh, which is, uh, we just need to finish the template, but it's pretty good, I think. And I think, uh, yeah, we'll get later on that. And um, we have a BB code parser, new one. It also can uh, transfer some HTML, so we can add support for it later. And uh, we have action-based ACL. Actually, we have our own system with, which can plug into any, we can plug into uh, Joomla 1.5, we can plug into Joomla 1.6, we can plug into uh, Community Builder, Jump Social, your own component, uh, almost everything. And um, we have a very easy and powerful integration you can easily make uh, your own component to use Kunena to show different, uh, for example, messages or something which you want to show. Um, okay, back to templating system. Uh, it should be familiar to everyone who has worked with Joomla. It uh, follows the design closely. And we had that own old template, and we have a new template with this uh, designed from scratch. New features. Well, topic tags, uh, you can use those. Traded views are back, finally. And uh, they don't need any introduction. Uh, category administrators means that you can have uh, in the front end, you can have uh, administrators for different categories. For example, if you have uh, uh, integration to your own component, you can assign administrators to Kunena, to your own, own categories. And uh, those administrators, they can create new categories, remove, change, they can do, do everything that normal administrator can do. Uh, then there is interesting category channels, which I actually use in my own site, and uh, it's used in uh, one other big site too. Uh, you can cre create aliases with it, or you can uh, make uh, ca your category to look like uh, it was uh, latest module or something. So you can um, have many uh, data from many categories in one category, and if, then you can go into the next level is if you want to see just uh, those messages in that, that category. Uh, then you have embedded views, uh, which actually allows you to integrate our views into any component, any module, any plugin, just by two, three lines of code. So you can actually use Kunena from your own component. And then, then there are a lot of smaller changes. Uh, 
some of them are usability and some of them are something else. <clears throat> okay, into the platform. Uh, well, there is uh, three, uh, three different levels. So there is uh, integration and uh, it consists of uh, embedded views and usage of the framework. So uh, this is how you can use Kunena in your own extension. You can allow your users to write comments and we take care of the rest. Uh, you can have discussions in threads. You can make even your own forum in it, into your own component. So, uh, or you, ha you can have uh, a moderator tools into your component. E anything that is in Kunena, you can use at least in some point. It's not done completely, but in some point you can use it inside of your own component which actually makes it much easier to make, for example, con uh, community builder integration because of you actually can have our data, our views inside your own. And uh, in integration you can al also control all the access. We have action-based uh, ACL, so you can say if someone can read, write, post, reply, etc., etc. So every action has its own action, and you just check for if he has right for that action, and uh, in your code, uh, it will actually call the component code, uh, the integrating component code to resolve what user can to do. So I think it's useful in many places and many makes it very powerful. You can make new features on it. And um, we have some integrations coming. Uh, we are working with a few components trying to make it to work with them on the day one when we release the stable version. Well, uh, I thought that here is a lot of uh, coders and uh, component uh, uh, designers and uh, co etc. So I just show quickly how many lines you need to different tasks. There are a few. So, for example, detecting Kunena is like this. It's just about uh, detecting the class and uh, asking if, it, if it's compatible and if the firm is en enabled. For example, uh, it could be put offline from the user or the administrator, or we could have installer running and you don't want to get access at that point. Uh, then uh, I. I have those embedded views which I already mentioned earlier. Um, so you just can use them in everywhere, and they 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 are the same that, and, than in Kunena. You can override override the templates. You can make it to, to look like your own. You can uh, uh, have own templates and control what you are seeing in them, and uh, you can actually you can keep. Kunena controller. So uh, from your page, it calls Kunena and it really directs back to the, all, uh, your own component. So it makes uh, actions. Uh, actually, Kunena is performing, performing every action, but it looks like it comes from some other component. So it makes uh, Kunena a lot more than just a form. Okay, this is how you display topic list. It's actually from the latest module. You just load the language and set the template and then you call it and it's there. You have the layout. That's what you need to do. Uh, then you can use the framework itself if you don't want to use the ready views from us. 
Uh, it's uh, designed to look like a Joomla framework, so you should be already a common on it, so you should know how it works. It's separate to MVC. I wanted to separate the logic uh, in the framework and in the MVC. Actually, MVC is just, uh, uh, if you have a model, model is just keeping the state. It does nothing more. So it knows where you were and uh, with what you are looking at. In controller, it's just, uh, just checking the permissions and uh, calling the functions in the framework. And uh, in view, of course, you know what we use. Uh, so it's a high abstraction. Actually, it's high because of if you, for example, if you upgrade, uh, update uh, or write a message, it automatically upgrades or updates every table which need to up update it. So, uh, those who are using Kunena, uh, they don't have to care about anything internal. So, uh, we are using it, so why no others shouldn't use it? It's stable, it works, it's easy, and it's really easy to make some new features into components without uh, putting much effort into it. Okay, how to create a topic? Well, first you need to authentic authorize the user, create topic, so you call it and or get the, you, first you have to get the category, then you authorize yourself, then you have the message and you say uh, create new topic and save it. That's all. <coughs> Everything else is done for you. And uh, you can alter the topic, you can uh, make uh, user anonymously, uh, you can hide all the information from the user, for example, you can att attach files you can, and then you have to save it. But you can do a lot more, there are a lot of functions you can use and you can do a lot with it. Uh, well, I want my friend to be subscribed. So, I always want myself and my friend to be subscribed, so I sus subscribe them. Then I need some keywords in the topic, I add some keywords, and then I need to send email to everyone who is listening to the topic. It's one comment. So, you can do a lot of things with just a few lines of code. You can assign category moderators, you just need to authorize first that you have rights to do it. Uh, then you set moderator. I'm setting Oliver as moder moderator. And uh, you can change category, save it. You can do whatever you want to do with it. Uh, actually, you can also set uh, there is a field to, uh, which tells which component uh, or which ACL you are using. So you put your own component name or whatever you want and uh, then it will call it and use your ACL. Well, what we want to do in the future is working together with everyone who is willing to work with us. We also want to contribute bug fixes, some features back into the Joomla core. Uh, and um, we have some new features which we need and I think they should be in the Joomla itself. For example, my, my milk way, so you can actually send messages in the background. Uh, it will always be free. We have the community, we, have, we want to keep that tight community uh, and work with people who are willing to help us. Uh, we always have that support forum for free. It's for, you can, if you want to participate, you just uh, talk with the people and trying to help them. And, but uh, in, in additionally, we have a strong demand on 
paid support for business because Cunena is uh, getting ready for enterprise and uh, in enterprise they need contracts they need to know if something goes wrong it can be fixed so we are trying to solve that too and uh, we are presenting Cunena 2.0 but when? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So we still have some work to do. Actually, it's uh, stable. It's used in live environments already. And uh, it's uh, really stable how it is now. I just want to finish some features which, uh, which we have started. And actually, uh, of course, stable template is still missing some smaller things we have to fix and we have to test it and so on. Uh, we need to finish the Joomla 1.6 support, for example, plug in the ACL. That's not done yet. Uh, but I, I think that Luis will help me. I hope. And uh, then we have to work with a third party. Uh, to make all the components who are already integrated to, to uh, Kunena 1.6, we need to make them to work in Kunena 2.0. So we have still some work to do, but it's ready. Otherwise, it's stable, it's running in large form, so we are almost there. Uh, actually, in that, this point you can come to present your yep. your form. Yep. How much time do you have? Uh, ten minutes. Um, if you don't know me, uh, I'm from Denmark. I drove here with Red Web. Do we need this? I don't think so. For the video, sorry. Uh, we drove here uh, yesterday. Uh, I joined Kunina's uh, development team a year ago when uh, I was about to do a, a migration onto Joomla for my company in Denmark. Um, and we looked at Kunina, it was pretty good, uh, we thought. And then we did some testing and uh, we quickly learned that 1.6 wasn't enough for 2 million postings for a forum. Simply, it couldn't take it. It took like one and a half hour to import the data <laughs> just to see it crash afterwards. <laughs> we did that a few times and I think we spent 14 days for uh, on, on that alone. So we uh, looked forward for uh, 2.0 uh, and also began helping on it. Um, and that's what we have today. Uh, helped on Kunina 2.0 and I think our site was one of the first sites for uh, for running with um, with it live. It's live now and you can see it here. It won't look the same as you're used to with Kunina, but it is Kunina in, in the back. I think we need some internet. It's always a problem here, isn't it? There we are. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. It should redirect, but okay. Yeah, but it should redirect automatically. We uh, have a catch-all. So this is our Kunina forum. It's not what you're used to see. This is uh, the front page, and uh, we live on ads and, and other things. But we uh, we took it to to a very high degree of customization, and uh, like Oliver said, you can't even see it's a Kunina forum running in the back. Uh, you need to you need to have a trained eye to see this. And to, we think, to be honest, this is uh, actually important because Kunina is just the platform or the base for the future. But what what you're going to use it for, or, or how you're going to do it, is actually up to yourself. It's much more of a, of a basis today, and you can actually use the backend in the Kunina 2.0 as a storage engine. Like, if you want to do a recipe site, you could actually use Kunina for storing the recipes and without using the front end. Oops. So this is actually Kunina uh, 2.0 with 2 million postings. 
and you can see the category pages and look at the speed. It, it's not slow at all. Yeah, it might be here because of the internet connection, but <laughs> that's it. And, but you can see here, one minute ago, six minutes ago, we receive around a thousand postings in here uh, each day in one form or another. Um, it's having 140,000 Joomla users, and we use Joom Social for that. That's another story. Most postings don't get so many replies, or don't get so much attention, but there are some big ones in between. I think the largest thread we have is about 500 re replies in one thread. And that's, and Kunina handles this, this pretty good, pretty well. And paging, you can see 400 pages here. Um, so this is just a quick demonstration of what you could get from uh, Kunina. This is not Kunina, this is actually my fault. <laughs> There's a background missing. We, uh, we, we made it quite a lot of template overrides that was needed. We don't use the new uh, table as template, but we use the old one. But even so, the API between the temp two templates, the old template and the new table less in Kunina 2.0, the API is the same, so it's whether uh, a personal preference if you want table less design or not. That's uh, that's a good thing too. Also, all the style sheets can be used in in Kunina 2.0. So if you made any changes to them, it should be fairly little amount of work you need to do to adapt it to 2.0. Uh, I don't know what's what else is uh, interesting to see in this. Threaded view, yeah. You can see here in, in the list, we got 380,000 uh, postings in this category. I like this category. It's, I think it's the biggest one. We're having around 300 categories in this system. And um, yeah, we got some replies in this one. It's about politics in, uh, in Denmark, so it's... Uh, it, it's not so suitable for our presentation, but <laughs> this is a demonstration. <laughs> but as you see here, we have the postings in the flat view as we know it. But the threaded view is much, much more interesting. Look at the speed. Below one second and you got the whole. And just go on here. And this is actually um, this is actually a big change because when you have the f the flat view as we're used to everyone, you're used to reply to some posting, but you couldn't see the context of it. It, it was out of context. It was just flat. This makes it, in, in my opinion, much more usable uh, for long threads and conferencing in that form. <coughs> um, and, and you can see here the thread just continues. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> Some people go in, uh, into politics, I, I guess. Like this. We kept the, the forms for uh, replying and for posting. And you can see here that it's almost not modified from uh, 1.6. So um, I think that's it for, uh, for my part. A small demonstration. Awesome, thanks. Um, I'd like to add a couple more words here since we started this, what, two and a half years ago, roughly, right? Um, has been an interesting ride. Uh, I think we just went through a million downloads on the on the software a couple months ago. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the year we will hit two million downloads. Uh, what we what we really intended to do is not actually build a forum software, standalone forum software. Uh, and at my company, we also use it. Uh, I don't have a live view of it because it's a, it's an intranet website that I can't show uh, uh, to the outside. Uh, but the idea was really to build a, a platform here that can become a communications engine that you install into Joomla and deal with any sort of commenting, discussing, 
any user input of, of, of text that is not necessarily an article or that is not done through an HTML expert. Uh, and forms is just one way of, of dealing with that, right? And so all the APIs that Matthias and the team have, have crafted are really towards building that into, into the platform so that other uh, components can use it. We use it for our own internet site, for commenting, for, you know, for uh, localized conversations about an article, for example, uh, for localized forums in groups, for example, uh, whenever we need people to talk and discuss something, right? And uh, as you see here, the, I mean, the template is a very, uh, in, in Tudor though, is a, is a very uh, simple template. It's really thought to be overwritten and replaced by also whatever custom design that, that you, that you want to uh, build it into. And yeah, it has come a long way. Uh, I want to thank you guys all uh, that have worked very tirelessly over the last uh, two years, some of you, some of you have joined in the last two years, and it has been a really interesting ride as a, 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 a little community in its own, right? It's, uh, we've tried to uh, not get into too much politics, we've tried to just ride as a, a, little, a little team, and there's a lot of users that, that have uh, picked up on that and that have contributed in one way or another, right? And we welcome anybody who wants to contribute something, whether it is anything from design to development to new features. Uh, and as Matthias said, we, we're getting a lot of requests from businesses uh, as of late to come up with a professional support solution for them. And so uh, the team is also working on, on in, in addition to what we have right now with, uh, with our support forums, to, uh, to enable contracts with companies that really want to sign up on something and get professional support paid support and uh, uh, coverage for their needs. So, with that, uh, thanks and any questions? I just have one, I'm not sure if it's a question or a remark. Nicholas, who is also here from Akiva Backup, he has built Akiva subscriptions based on Noku, but he cannot integrate it, at yeah, least with the it, current community, it, because it, of it's, fixed in it's fixed in 2.0. It's fixed in 2.0, okay. Yeah, so, when you install 2.0, it's okay. That's all. Thank you. <laughs> okay, anyone else? Is 2.0 on SVN or available direct download from your site? Mm -hmm. Is 2.0 on SVN or direct download from your uh, site? It's in SVN. It's just kind of uh, crowded and play with it. So, it's all free. All, all the code is. <laughs> you can just download it from the SVN and use it. Yeah, so we keep everything up on the code. Yeah, it's in the code. Yes. Anyone else? Can I add something? Yes. Uh, because it, as a default, it, it runs, we have some of the, the more advanced features of and that might be not functioning yet. But the 2.0 call for, for messages and for the phone part all itself. It works pretty good in my opinion. In, in the embedded views is, is fully functional? Uh, it's not fully functional yet. Uh, we have some views which is not, uh, we need to, some special logic to make it happen. And uh, I just haven't had time to go through all the code. Most important views are already there. So you can use, uh, I think, Yeah. 
You can do that in one six as well. Actually, yeah, it just depends on what platform. Two or five can do an expansion, something like uh, part of the user or some of some of the ECL extensions that are out there. Uh, we support several of them. And on one six, it, it just plugs into the one six ACL. Right? And yeah. Two of those takes that to a it makes the, uh, so we are we are having the uh, same kind of uh, uh, customization possibilities than you have in Joomla itself. So you can have a different. Uh, you have actually you have actually actions, and you can say you can make any action. Okay. By defining, you know, if you want to do it in your own component, you can do it. If you want to have it in Joomla, you just define it. But we, we are still missing the Joomla 106 integration and in, in that part. So we do not, I don't know if we can make it into 2.0 because I want to get it out as soon as possible just because it's so fast, so uh, much uh, faster, it's uh, well designed and easy to use both for users and design and component uh, developers. So we need to get it out and we can fix the smaller things yeah. later. Okay?